Sally. Get Billy and go. Run to Blake Henry's place. Get him to raise the sheriff. Fast as you can, and don't look back, you hear? You tell Mr. Henry to get the sheriff. Your pa and I will be along shortly. But I want to stay with you. I said get. Ben, what you doing here? We ain't got no reason for even laying eyes. Well, you know when I was getting out. You more made your point, Bennett. How about you get back on them horses and we go our ways? Now well, that'd work out real nice for you, Frank. I don't see it unfolding that way. It won't be long.
Mm. Mm. It ain't mom's, but it's nice to have home cooking pop. You have that right. Good eat, sir. Mm. Much obliged as well for them bunks. Hell, you should have seen us today, Pop. Made up with the Pirates Hall. They had one of them newfangled Victor safes. A lot of box for just some saloon, but it didn't matter none. Abe here. Now he just kept clubbing the man's woman until he spun them numbers. Give me that money. Oh, stop it, please. Oh, please, stop it. Stop it. And I ask, now what good is all that modern steel and fancy gears if you just can open it up for the take? Mm-hmm. I want you to have this, Pop. Why don't you just consider it room and board for the night, then? <laughs> Ooh, Pop, these fellas here, they would have had you whistling Dixie. Couple of maestros with them Winchesters. Drop what? Five right on the road? Had people running and shrieking from their afternoon libations? Four. It was only four. Four, five, what's the difference? Oh! <laughs> but the best part, Though Pop was the lasses at the cooch house before we even hit the safe. <laughs> I mean, Abe, we had this little strawberry number, could have been more than what, 14? Thinking we was gonna pay double, because we was double. It looked like she saw Lincoln's ghost when we kept our pockets shut. Huh. Crying and shaking, and I kept telling her, now, can't be no rape if you's already a whore, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you shut your mouth about that now, huh? What? He's right. You shouldn't be running your mouth about none of that. Got about as much sense as a snail in a cattle chute. You piss ants think you know everything. Think you count more than others, well. Take it from me. There's consequences to what you do. I'm talking about more than a man with a badge or a roommate of bars. There's weight. Ain't none heavier than right here. I spent a lifetime taken from people. Money, life, honor. You can't undo things. You can't make them right. You carried all the bitter end. I suggest you boys give that some thought. Instead of bragging and joking about all the evil you've done. Cause there ain't nothing harder than facing your sins. Knowing that you ain't never gonna be clean. That's a load of horse shit. You trying to talk truth, knowing only one side. What, did your head come loose in the right end? You going after my pop now? I've been going after your pop longer than you know.
good. Won't be long. I'll tell you what's harder than you living with your sins, Mr. Bennett. It's me living with them. What you did that day is what I'll carry to the bitter end. Now look at your boy. I said look at him. That hollow pitch you feel now, it's been mine to bear most of my time on Earth. A man don't need age to see he done wrong. He just needs sense. I know I done my share. But this here, you caused it. Remember that next time you're facing your sins. Not Mr. Bennett.